Inside the 11th episode of Outsourcing Life, I look at an alternative payment system that allows you to transfer money to your outsourcers quickly, efficiently and in cash via the ATMs. Inside the quick tip as well, I look at a virtual staff hiring service that has become the number one provider in finding Filipino workers for any business. Welcome to the Outsourcing Life Podcast, where you will learn to build a virtual team to run your business. And now, your host, Tyrone Shum. Hi everyone, it's Tyrone Shum from Outsourcing Live and today I've got a podcast interview with a company called ATM Cash. Now, um, the person that actually approached me, his name's Roderick, approached me just to talk a little bit more about how something like this could benefit the payment systems of how we pay freelancers and outsourcers and I thought this would be really interesting to be able to share something about this company for you because it might benefit in whatever transaction that you do may help you save fees and also may make things faster. So. Let me introduce you to ATM Cash, um, the person behind it, Roderick. Hello. Hey, uh, Tyrone. Thank you so much for having me. It's a pleasure to finally get to talk to you. Like, like I mentioned earlier, I'm, um, I'm a big fan of your work. I've seen a lot of your videos on YouTube and uh, on your website and I'm, sub- I'm a subscriber as well. So it's uh, <laughs> Thank great you. stuff that I'm actually uh, getting the chance to talk to you. Um, so, uh, as you mentioned, uh, Roderick Gerland here with ATMCash.com. We're based out of um, uh, Los Angeles, California. And um, uh, we've been around since 2005 as an online money transfer um, agent service. And um, basically what we do um, is uh, via prepaid debit cards, we send it out to 150 countries worldwide at over 1.6 uh, million ATMs. We send them an ATM cash card and that's how the recipients in over 150 countries can actually withdraw the cash. Um, we, we do this model, you know, away from uh, the agent-based model that you're familiar with, maybe with Western Union or MoneyGram mm. um, and things like that. Um, and uh, it's very, you know, we, we like to pride ourselves in our cutting edge ideas in making sure that, you know, people are being served all over the world. Um, and um, just a little bit about ATM Cash, I guess, how this came about with freelancing is that um, just by talking to our customers, um, we found out that a lot of our customers are using our service uh, to pay freelancers. Um, in particular, about a couple months ago, um, we spoke with this uh, developer here. Um, he has a business out here in, uh, in the United States, out in Washington, D.C., and he actually does, uh, he has a freelancer out in Pakistan and, um, and he used our service, he, he loved it and he basically said, hey, I want to use you guys because I want to cut out the middleman. He, he got his freelancer from Odesk. Yeah, okay. Which, uh, that, very familiar with. Yeah, definitely. Just tell, actually, let's take a step back first, um, Roderick. You mentioned to me when, before this call that your company started back in 2005, so it has been around for at least a good six years. Firstly, why why was this concept, or how did you come up with something like this? Are you were you the one who came up with this concept and uh, put it into place? Actually, um, I, I I'd like to take credit for it, <laughs> <laughs> but it was a very smart man by the name of Jonathan Cooper, our founder and CEO, mm. and he's basically um, just been um, he's traveled all over the world, and he's he he. He worked in the financial district and, and worked for a lot of uh, Fortune 500 companies, and basically it just came to him that this will be a good, just a good method for um, you know try to compete with uh, the uh, the money transfer service out there. It's it's so it's over six billion dollars. Yeah, that's and, a, it's uh, a, he felt it's like a, it was a. It's a pretty big market there. I mean, like you've got PayPal, Western Union, Zoom, right. all those kind of different providers. So why mm-hmm. why should people really consider coming to ATM cash instead? That's what I'm curious. <laughs> yeah, no, that's that's a great question. And, and um, you know, mentioning those companies, ATM cash is actually only one of four companies in the world that can actually do it to this scale, which is international. And, um, and basically, um, mentioning PayPal out there, I'll definitely talk more a little bit about that. But as far as um, our, our, the value for ATM cash for uh, recipients and money senders out there is that Number one, you're not dealing with um, with an agent, mm. and therefore we can reach o- over one point. Uh, uh, I mentioned 150 countries in the world, over 150 countries, 
Um, so, I mean, ATMs are everywhere. Yep. ATMs are everywhere. And um, um, just because of that, you know, you, you're going to outnumber the agents all over the world with ATMs. Therefore, we, we have the farthest reach of countries out there in the world. Actually, just um, to, sorry to interrupt you again. Uh, I want to actually yeah. know agents because you've been talking a lot about agents. Myself, I'm I'm just I'm not very familiar with what you mean by agents, and probably the listeners might not okay. even understand. So maybe explain what is an agent first, and then what well, sure, what, sure. what is the difference between an agent and the ATM? I mean, I know what ATM is, but I, it might not be the right. same terminology as what I'm thinking yeah. you're talking That's about. A, yeah, so definitely, uh, I'll be more than happy to educate you on just um, uh, the money remains business. Yep. Um, you, you're dealing with uh, with the uh, I'm sure you, everyone's here heard of um, Western Union and MoneyGram. Yes. Um, agents are basically people and companies in stores, either a uh, convenience store out there or a specific store, a grocery store, where they, they, have a, um, they provide MoneyGram service. Yep. They'll have the MoneyGram sticker, logo, phone number out there on their business, um, at their business windows to show everybody we're a MoneyGram or a Western Union agent. Okay. So... Um, those are people that sign up through um, their affiliate or their network through MoneyGram and they get a percentage of, of the money transferred being a service provider for MoneyGram and agent or representative for gotcha. MoneyGram or Western Union. So, um, so the, you're dealing with people, you're dealing with banking hours, you're dealing with store hours, uh, you're dealing with going to a store, pulling out cash and you know, maybe in shady parts of the world. People will be waiting for you because they know that you're <laughs> walking in. Man. You know, cash. Somebody <laughs> from from Australia, somebody from the United States sent you money. In which part of the world, and they know to to wait for you. So, <laughs> uh, so therefore, um, you know, one of the great things about uh, 18cash.com is that it's at their convenience. Uh, I mean, this is 24 hours. I mean, you go to any ATM. I mean. Um, and you'll be able to, to, to get it at your own time, maybe when it's less dangerous. Yeah, <laughs> you know? definitely. Uh, and, you know, it's, it's a reality when you're, you're pulling out money in certain parts of the world. It's, it's, it's going to be a little bit dangerous. So, um, And um, obviously on the sender's end, um, it's going to be at their convenience as well because they can do it online. So um, that's, that's the value and convenience we provide for our customers all over the world. Um, um, as far as um, our reach right now, um, we are available in all those countries. However, most of our customers right now are actually the customers that we're allowing to send money worldwide are American or U.S. based customers, mm. um, and and that's um, we're we're you know definitely re uh, looking at uh, opportunities to to expand and uh, but uh, right to now uh, doing pretty well with just uh, our U.S. based customers okay. and. and uh, employers and such. Okay. Well, it's it's really interesting. Let me just recap that just to clarify this. So basically, say for example, I'm an employee, employer that's hired someone from overseas. I mean, this this could probably be working for any model. I'm just probably sending money to a relative. You know, I could probably use that for that too. But in the case of outsourcing, we are probably employers say in the United States and we are sending money off to a foreign country which may be the Philippines, maybe India, maybe China, wherever the location of our workers are. So instead of actually sending the money via Western Union or Zoom or MoneyGram and they have to walk into those stores to be able to withdraw their cash, basically what I understand is that you guys get a card or the, those people over there get a card and that card allows them to yeah, access any ATM and withdraw the cash directly from an account that's with ATM Cash. Is that what I'm what I'm sort of understanding? <laughs> you got it. Okay. 100 You hit it right on the head there, Tyrone. Um, it's and it's um, you know specifically with with outsourcers, I guess. And um, you know you you spoke about the Philippines and what we do is you know Philippines is a, it's a huge market not only in outsourcing because you promote the pr Philippines well by the way thank you because that's my mother <laughs> motherland right there the Philippines thank you so much and you guys uh, are great people that's why, that's why I, I love you guys so much <laughs> <laughs> thank you appreciate that um, yeah, and uh, on behalf of all the Filipino people from the Philippines mabuhay thank you salam <laughs> um, but particularly in the Philippines, what we do is uh, we actually we, we FedEx a card out there, and um, in the Philippines we'll FedEx it for free, okay. free of charge. There's no activation fee. Um, there is um, basically you know you're you're dealing with something that's very easy with with our services. 
um, you know, it's going to be initiated by by the employer that somebody somebody here from the U.S. hiring someone from the Philippines, uh, and I mentioned earlier Pakistan and other parts of the world where the employer is going to sign up online at atmcatch.com, provide the information, the address. We FedEx it to the recipient. Once they have the card, then they can withdraw it with a four-digit PIN that is going to be given to the employer for security reasons because, mm. as we know, things can get lost in, in, in travel and en route, with, even with FedEx. That's right. So anybody can intercept the card. However, the sender still has a four-digit PIN. Once they confirm that the, the recipient has a PIN, then they can release that four-digit pin and then we can withdraw the money. So basically, it's very much like, like, like a credit card system. I mean, with the credit card, we, we have something very similar from like Citibank. I lost my card, not, or not lost it actually, I had to get a replacement recently because somebody it was doing a fraudulent um, transaction on my card, so I had to re get that card replaced. So as soon as I got a card replacement, they said that I'll be receiving a separate letter to receiving a four-digit PIN and also to, you know, I need to verify it by making a call and so forth. So obviously, it's that secure that you guys have got that in place so that way nothing gets lost or people can't steal their money at any time. Exactly, exactly. It's the same exact way, the same exact way. Yeah. Oh, that's really good. All right. Well, what I'm also curious about is how, more, more the how-to of the ATM cash system Let's say I'm brand new. I've, I mean, I am brand new actually. I've got no idea how your system works and I, I'm curious now, if I was to sign up to your system, what's the process involved and how do I get this set up for say my team and, wants, and I want to use this system with you? Oh, excellent. Um, great question. And first and foremost, I do want to also reiterate once again that it's for US-based employers and customers only as of now. Mm. Um, uh, but thank you for, um, again, taking this time to, uh, to ask me these questions because we, we will be looking to expand um, as far as where the money comes from. And, I, you know, um, a lot of the outsourcers are coming from the United States and the UK and, and Australia and things. So um, right now we're in a perfect position, I feel. Yeah, you're going to have to so, expand into Australia soon because you're missing out opportunities like me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're, we're working on it, Tyrone, just for you. Uh, so, so really easy. Um, uh, if you are a U.S.-based customer employer and you have a an outsourced uh, an outsource employee, say in, Phil in the Philippines, you would just go to atmcash.com mm -hmm. and register your 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 name, your email address, and a phone number. And um, you would provide, um, you know, once you register, you can provide further information um, as far as just your contact information and the funding source. If you're going to be using a checking account, Visa, or Mastercard. Okay. Um, and then you provide the recipient information. All we need is basically a phone number, uh, a name, and a phone number and address for uh, the card to be shipped via FedEx Priority. And um, it's that simple. It takes about uh, a few days to process this. So you know, for an initial transfer, it'll, it may take three to seven business days because we are you know um, sending cards worldwide and processing and making sure that the application is um, is accepted, things yep. like that. Okay. Um, and um, once, once you sign up, the card is uh, sent to them once everything is processed. Like I mentioned earlier, you'll just, um, as the sender, you'll receive a four-digit PIN via um, your U.S. post office. And once you, you confirm that the, the recipient has the card, you can go ahead and relay that four-digit PIN for them to the withdraw from any ATM in the world. Um, that's really and, cool. And, and that's basically, it's that simple. Okay. I mean, it, it's very, it, it sounds extremely simple and I don't know why people didn't think of this earlier. <laughs> I mean, like, I, I really am interested now because the fact is, is that you have an ATM card and you've got a card that you can just walk into ATM to just draw cash. I mean, I still prefer a lot of times anyway to receive transactions online by my bank account because in that way I can access it and most of the things I do is via credit anyway, um, just by pulling out my credit card. But in saying that, I know that a lot of my staff in the Philippines always walk into a counter. Say, for example, they go to Zoom. Um, back then, mm -hmm. Zoom was available only uh, available to everyone. But since they restricted to US customers, I had to switch over to PayPal, for example. Um, and, and that's the thing with Australian, with UK uh, people who, who are working there or own, own businesses there, it, found, it finds, it restricts them basically from being able to send cash directly over to Filipinos, um, very, very much so. And that's the reason why something like PayPal had to be implemented. And I mean, I don't, I, I, I'm happy with using PayPal currently. You know, that's what I've been mm -hmm. recommending to, to a lot of people. And the fees, you know, were originally very, very high. I think it was about 3 or 4% 
for every single transaction. But I found a way to be able to reduce that down to, I think it was like a dollar per transaction now. Um, in, right. in, in, okay. in saying that, I mean, I'm, I'm curious, how much is to, what are the fees involved like for something like this? Because yeah. the service seems to be very smart, very quick, and also too, very easy to use. You know, I, I mean, like it doesn't sound hard at all yeah. to set up. So, for, yeah. Great question, great question, Tyrone. And, um, and PayPal, I, I like to consider PayPal as a, a necessary evil for outsourcers. <laughs> <laughs> because it's the only game out there. I mean, until now, until now, until ATMcash.com came aboard and, 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 and have this, we have this opportunity to tell you guys about mm. more about our company. Now, um, um, I think um, there is a great uh, uh, website blog where we actually listed what um, PayPal charges oh, yes. um, employers and um, also what, what the freelancers are getting charged um, in comparison to ATMcash.com. And, I'll be happy to provide that for you. It's, uh, it's uh, outsourceportfolio.com uh, slash cost dash freelancer. Yep. Um, um, and it's it's a breakdown of, you know, what fees you're paying uh, with PayPal as well as um, Odesk, you know, and uh, a lot of uh, freelancing is found through Odesk as well. Um, and it's, uh, the Odesk is actually, you know, one of the, thank you to Odesk um, that we found our customers that are trying to say, Hey, I don't want to pay the ten percent. Yes, and they're finding they're finding our way. But it's specifically, our fees are it's it's simple. Um, when when an outsourcer is going to send up to a thousand dollars, it's only five dollars flat with a checking account. Five dollars flat to a thousand dollars. That's pretty yeah, reasonable. Um, and um, we FedEx the card directly to to um, the recipient. In most cases, free, especially like in the Philippines, and um, and there's no activation. And the since there were on the freelancers end, the only thing they're dealing with is possibly is an ATM that does a local fee. So um, that can be transferred to the cost by the by the employer. At this case, um, we have a dollar fifty withdrawal fee, which is upfront, and they'll, they'll know. So an employer can actually add a dollar fifty on top of what they're um, they're initiating for payment. Yep. And um, and we always find you know any time we get information about free local ATMs in certain countries, we want to always promote that to our customers because, hey, uh, you know it's it may be a dollar fifty or two dollars to Americans, but if you're dealing with Pakistan and the Philippines, that's a lot of money. that's a lot of money. Yeah, I agree. Exactly. So it's uh th those are those are the only fees, um, and you know I guess the only other fees if they're keeping a balance on the card, there's a ninety nine cent monthly fee. Um, but we always tell people, I'm sure people always want to withdraw the full amount anyway and they don't want to deal with that. Oh, it's, okay. It's not a bank account. Okay, so um, basically if, if they draw out all the money, there's no account keeping fees but if, if there is money sitting in that account, then every month they'll get charged 99 cents for that. Right, right. And, um, and I, I, I forgot to mention earlier, this is actually, you know, um, more than half of the people in this world are unbanked. And that's one of the great things about you know ATMcash.com is that you don't the recipient doesn't have to have a bank account. They get an ATM card that they can withdraw from any ATM. Um, I know with PayPal there are some restrictions. Mm. You, know, you either get it transferred to your account, you have to have an account, um, and things like that. And that's one of the reasons, as well as you know um, other things, uh, you know the nominal fees that we have compared to what PayPal charges. It's really great overall for the freelancer as well as especially for the uh, for the employer, the U.S. based employers. That's really good because the fact is, is that we really just want to be able to pay them and uh, for them to be able to draw their cash out rather than have it sit in the bank account. I mean, for for any employer, does that mean that if they've transferred money and they and the employee, which is the freelancer, hasn't withdrawn the cash, does that mean that it's just sitting in account like in uh, ATM cash in some kind of bank account? Like, how does that work? Yes. Yeah, we are um, our KeyBank International is is our bank, and it's it's uh, twelve largest bank here in the U.S. It keeps all the money FDIC insured. Um, so if if the freelancer decides to keep it in there, uh, mind you, there's that ninety nine cent fee after thirty days. Um, but um, yeah, it just stays with the U.S. Uh, with KeyBank International, and we're currently working with um, um, other banks as well to expand our expand our reach and uh, give our customers. Uh, uh, more freedom and uh, and more features. Excellent. So, how does the currency exchange work as well, too? Because obviously, we're not just dealing with U.S. funds here. Um, you guys are transferring the money from U.S. to other foreign countries. 
is there does it go by off the bank's exchange rate or does it go off the local exchange rate how does that all work um, well, we, we go by the, uh, our cards are actually pre prepaid uh, MasterCard, so they're Sirius and um, uh, Maestro logos on there, so therefore they're virtually uh, um, used at all the ATMs. So we go by the MasterCard index to answer your question okay. um, for, for the exchange rate. So it's, um, you know, based on what's, what's the current market rate right now, and then the MasterCard index is, is basically about a, a 2 maybe 3%. Um, difference. Difference. Yeah. Um, okay. That's yeah. very standard. Yeah, that's very and standard. Then pretty much all across all the credit cards. And so, for example, that's correct. That's correct. if um, they're changing from the U.S. currency over to the Filipino currency, it'd be something like uh, at the moment I think the rate's about forty-one or forty-two to to the dollar. So add about another percent on top, which would probably be something like um, I don't know forty. Oh, I'm just trying to calculate at the top of my head. Probably be about 42. Yeah. It's only very little. It's only very, very little. Actually, Tyrone, if you give me a moment, I'm going to give you the exact one. And you can get this from our website. And um, you'll be just choose the country uh, where you're going to be sending money to, which is in this case Philippines. And I'll tell you what the rate is right now based on the MasterCard index and what we also use. That's really um, good. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we try to we try to have a very interactive website that's complete with tools and everything easy to use for our customers. Actually, talk, always, talking about your website, you mentioned tools. What what are some of the tools that you've got on your website? Okay, so um, the um, the obvious one here, what I'm going to be looking at is the basically is the uh, currency exchange calculator, um, and um, um, that's going to be you know up to current uh, up to current date on uh, the currency exchange. I'm, on over 150 countries in the world, um, which, by the way, right now, so for the dollar is 41.34 uh, pesos, so 41 pesos 34 centavos for per the dollar for today. For today, yeah. So it's not that much difference anyway, because when I see in PayPal, it's about 41 as well. So the exchange is about the same. Okay, yeah. and that's basically you know, and and if you look at the you know the bigger picture and the fees and stuff, that's yeah, it's you're still saving a lot of money with ATM cash. Definitely, yeah. Uh, um, and, and some of the tools that we have here, uh, you know, um, we have um, an online chat support, which is uh, it's important. We have um, an excellent customer service team here, um, um, uh, money transfer experts here to, 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 to help you uh, get your money transferred across the world. And, um, you know, great feedbacks, you know, uh, any way our company can actually improve the website, you know, people can just go ahead and um, um, provide feedback instantly. Now, as far as the specific tools we have on the website for our customers is that um, under um, ma manage my account, and this is great, and I actually thank you for asking this because I want to tell, tell your viewers out there and your followers out there that this is a great tool uh, with ATMcash.com. We have a, a feature called uh, blo uh, blocking and unblocking the card, and basically this is similar to an escrow tool as an uh, escrow service oh. at no, no extra charge. So what uh, employers can do is the card will be sent to the, to, to the freelancer in the Philippines and um, they'll have the card, they'll be able to log in as well and see how much money is on the card. However, the, the, the employer can release the funds once, say, the satisfactory job has been done mm. or um, the project has been made, they can release it. So there's there is transparency on both sides because the, the recipient are going to receive the card, they're going to see that the money is there, that it's not, you know, obviously there's some sort of relationship already where they build a trust with each other. Yes. However, there's transparency where they see the money is there. They're not just saying, yeah, I sent the money, I sent the money, but they can actually see that, they can log in and see that the money is there. And then once everything is, uh, I guess, proved and um, the deliverables have been made, have been sent, then they can just release the uh, unblock the card instantly, and that's no charge. And I know there's escrow services out there that charge a lot of money for that feature. Yeah, yeah. So that, those are one of the definitely. I, I that's a really good feature because, say for example, if you decided that you wanted to terminate this person um, based on his performance, it's it's very mm -hmm. easy to be able to just unblock that card or block that card to be able to do that. So what happens if, say for example, that you decide to terminate this freelance or you ne decide not to work with them any, any longer? What happens to their card and what happens to their, their service? 
Well, um, there is no, um, uh, like I mentioned, there are real no fees with the card. If there's zero balance on the card, then um, there, there are no fees involved. So the customer just decides, if, hey, I'm not using the, this so-and-so freelancer anymore. Um, then we can go ahead and um, just basically um, eliminate that card. Okay. And, uh, just uh, that easy. That so, easy. So, so basically, they just either destroy the card or cut it up and do whatever they want to do with it and no longer you need to use it with them, which is good. Yeah. Exactly. You, you talked about customer support just a moment ago saying that there is customer support. How, how do people get in contact with ATM Cash right now? Is it um, via phone, via the internet? How does it work? Yeah, exactly. We have a toll-free number. Um, it's 888-286-2274, uh, which is 888-ATM-CASH. Ah, okay. Um, and um, online, we have, um, you know, online uh, live support and also via email customer service at atmcash.com. Nice. So we're readily available for our customers. Um, we do have, you know, uh, business hours as far as uh, our support until we expand further. Um, we, we, we're open from 8 a.m., to 6 p.m. Pacific uh, daylight time, so right now Pacific time. Yep. Okay. Okay. And also, too, I'm just curious for say the future of ATM Cash. What are your plans for ATM Cash, or what what is it planning to do? Well, we'd love to. Uh, again, we'd love to just reach the uh, uh, the freelance, the outsourcing market out there. It's such a huge market, and it's just the way business is done these days. Uh, I'm sure you know, and you're a big, big proponent of that. Mm. Um, and we, uh, we, we deal with, uh, you know, regular customers that send money to relatives, friends, fiancés, you know, people meeting brides in Russia and <laughs> parts of the world. They're using our service and so that we're a great tool for that as well. Uh, oh, by the way, congratulations on your uh, recent wedding. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that in there. I know you're pretty busy with all that stuff going on. Um, it was yes. <laughs> <laughs> I just I'm just on the beginning part of that, so uh, um, I, gu I guess I can use some tips from you offline here. I <laughs> definitely share some <laughs> with you in a moment. Then. <laughs> All right. So sounds good. Sounds good. Um, as far as future expansion, we just want to be able to, like I said, there's only four companies in the world that can do what we do. Um, I mean, I mean, to to this capacity, and obviously we're very unique uh, compared to Western Union, MoneyGram, and Zoom. Mm. Um, um, and we just want to be able to uh, be a bigger player, especially with the outsourced market out there. And we want to be able to be the best op uh, the best uh, way for customers to send money and to receive money. And and with outsourcing in general, you're trying to save all the money you can. Um, that's the reason for outsourcing to begin with. That's right. And I think we provide the best, the best um, possible way for people to do that in, in, a, in an effective manner, an efficient manner, and uh, in a safe manner as well. I mean, we have top of the notch security when it comes to um, customer security and um, just 100% um, guaranteeing your money. Fantastic. Uh, I guess wanted to know as well is when are you planning to expand to Australia? <laughs> <laughs> you know what, Tyrone? After this, after this interview, I'm gonna go straight to work on that. <laughs> um, but uh, we don't have any tea right now. There's a lot of things that we have in the works because um, you know we want to provide the best customer service, uh, customer experience for everyone. So we we do want to expand out there at the same time. We want to make sure that we have everything set. We have a good base. Um, here for our U.S. customers, and um, as, as soon as um, everything we feel like everything is to 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 the uh, highest quality, then we're ready to we're ready to ex to expand to explode and whatever whatever words you want to use, you'd like to uh, take over the market there <laughs> to take take growth. Yeah, <laughs> oh, that's good. It's just yeah, I, I'd like to know because the fact is is that I think because um, I've been using PayPal for a while now. I, I would prefer to be able to get the funds to my outsourced team much quicker because it takes them at least three to seven days to clear the funds, which can be mm. a bit difficult for them, especially that. Whereas it sounds like ATM Cash, as soon as the money gets sent, they can access it via the ATM within the next, what, 24, 48 hours? Yeah, with, um, with an ACH transfer, just like a, you know, a check, it'll take three, three business days. Yep. Um, with, with a credit card, Visa, MasterCard, debit card, it'll be available within 30 seconds. Yeah, so therefore it's worthwhile doing it that way for us because <laughs> I think at the yeah. end of the day, it's time is the essence and uh, you want to be able to pay people much quicker than to wait for the funds to clear. 
Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Excellent. Well, Roderick, it's been a real pleasure to be able to get you on the call today. It's been fun as well too to be able to find out a lot more about ATM Cash. If people want to get in contact with you directly, um, how can they get in contact with you and also check out the site as well? Sure, sure. Um, they can. Um, our website is atmcash.com and actually I do want to offer something to, to your followers and viewers out there okay. um, that, are, that, are, that are outsourcing. Um, if they want to give us a try, um, we're going to go ahead and, um, and provide the promo code Tyrone and if, they, and if they type in that promo code Tyrone, we'll go ahead and waive the first transfer for them and also um, um, add a $15 bonus to the card. Wow. By just putting your promo code. Just to all your viewers out there and um, we'll be able to, uh, again, you know, we want people to experience, you know, the best we have here at ATMcash.com once they, they experience um, the efficiency and the effectiveness of our product. I think, um, I mean, it's people will know about it and people will use ATMcash.com, I have no doubt. Awesome. Well, thank you um, so much for that, Roderick. It's a, it's, I didn't expect it and definitely for the viewers, t take up on that promo code. If promo, Roderick's definitely offered that one for you. So, Definitely. If they want to reach me directly, um, you know, um, just ask for me, our, our, our customer service line, you know, where uh, we're still a growing team. So just ask for Roderick at 888-286-2274. That's 888-ATM-CASH. Um, you can also find me on Skype at ATM Cash Three, and um, and my email address is uh, Roderick G. That's R O D E R I C K G at ATMCash.com. Hey, excellent! Thank you so much for that, Roderick. Um, I'm pretty sure all the people who have been listening and also uh, viewing this as well online, because we've both got both the podcast and the video available, will really appreciate this and. I'll definitely be putting a link down below and also letting people know about that special promo too. So thank you. Excellent, excellent. Uh, thank you so much for having me, Tyrone. Thank you again. It's time for the Outsourcing Live Quick Tip. I get asked frequently where to find good virtual staff or good outsourcers to be able to get work done. Now, I've come across a service and have been recommending this service to a lot of people and I've gone through this personally myself and a lot of the members throughout the Mass Outsource Mastermind course have also been using this service. Now, the service is called getvirtualstafffinder.com and you can actually get access to this um, simply by typing getvirtualstafffinder.com and when you go there, you'll see the site which if you're viewing this on uh, YouTube, you can see the video but if not, you can actually listen to me talk right now and basically, this site takes you through a step-by-step -step process to be able to hire anyone from the Philippines. You can hire people full-time, you can hire people part-time and they'll do all the grunt work for you. Basically, they'll go out there, provide it with all the specifications of what you need whether it be a virtual assistant, a programmer, anything like that and they'll go out there and find it for you and then come back with uh, top three candidates of shortlist and they'll interview them for you, they'll make sure that they meet the criteria and also pass a few of the tests that they do. Now, the person behind this service, his name is Chris Ducker and I've recommended him numerous times on different podcasts and videos as well and what he did was he owns a, quite a large company out there that does hire and uh, put through into his company called Live to Sell and what that service does is basically do telemarketing for a lot of the corporate companies inside America. But the, what he found was that there was a lot of people like us in small businesses who only just needed one or two people who would be able to run the company. So he set up this serv service called the Get Virtual Staff Finder service which could be able to help you source people individually to be able to find and do the work for you. Now, there's an upfront uh, fee that you need to pay to be able to find that but once you've found that, they'll be able to just um, yeah, send the details to you and you just start using them and you don't have to pay anything from there and it's a great service because it's once off and it's very, very reliable and I've had really good experiences with them and the staff that have come through there that they found is very good quality and I've used many, many different services and this has probably been one of the ones that have come up on the top. Now, if you want to see a review that I did on it, I actually did one on my site at outsourcinglive.com forward slash virtual staff finder dash review and if you just visit that link there, 
you'll be able to see the review that I do and I reviewed the differences between Virtual Star Finder and also bestjobs.ph which is also a job hunting site in the Philippines and you'll see the differences and see the pros and the cons of going through the Virtual Star Finder. So check that out as well and furthermore, I've also got a very, very valuable promotion that's going on right now which you can get $97 free if you go through the getvirtualstarfinder.com service that I'm recommending right now. Now, if you like more resources like this one, you can find them inside Mass Outsource Mastermind along with video tutorials and step-by-step -step instructions showing exactly how I use them. To get a 30-day no-risk trial membership to Mass Outsource Mastermind, simply visit freevideoset.com. Until next time, I wish you success in your quest for outsourcing.